Did you put on a belt today? I don't know that I even own one, but I do know the importance of putting on the belt of truth. That is part of God's armor, and you can find that in Ephesians chapter 6. But specifically, verse 14 says, Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. I know the importance of God's truth and applying it to every part of our lives. And here in this space, we talk about integrating our faith and our fitness because you can't have a sustainable, healthy life without doing that, without building it on a foundation of faith, without knowing what God says about you, who you are, who he, he created you to be. It's not about finding out the truth of research about nutrition and things like that, but it's finding motivation from his word to live a healthy life. Not one that looks a certain way or is a certain size, but one that simply honors the unique body that God entrusted to you. Pretty soon, if not already, there's going to be a bandwagon coming by asking you to jump on it with the latest diet gimmick or quick fix. And the thing is, so many people will jump on that bandwagon only for it to drop them in the middle of nowhere shortly after January 1st. And it's because we get distracted when we don't have the truth of God's word in our lives. It is important to know truth so you can defend yourself against the enemy, against the lies that he hurls at us. Because when we live in the truth of God's word, we'll stand against false teaching. Diets are deceiving. They distort the truth about how to care for your body in a healthy way. But when we embrace God's word and put on the belt of truth, we can discern what is right and wrong. We can stand firm on who God created us to be and how he created us because you are a child of the King. You have been fearfully and wonderfully made. So seek his truth about who you are, about how he made you, and embrace that truth that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And take that with you into today, into the coming week, and into the coming year. And let that be your motivation for living a healthy life. And that's also how you will learn to live fit and free.